try that in your biology class. I dare you. Just shovel them all back in there. Ooze tube. I just like saying ooze tube. What happens when science experiment meets craft kit? Don't wait for tomorrow. Squish, I hope that everyone is having a very pleasant day today because we're doing science and crafts. We're blending it together and doing a science craft kit. I found two different craft kits, count them, two, uh, at Five Below. They just have like this whole wall of kits. So I bought a whole bunch of different things to see if they were worth the money, to see if they work. But I found these two, they are Unbelievable Science. This one looks so cool. It is Unbelievable Science Slimy Tree Frog Squishy Anatomy. I hear slime, I hear squishy, I see frogs. I got to get it. I'm going to be dissecting a poor little frog. Now it's a huge, disgusting, slimy mold of a frog. It's different. The next one says that it is a make your own light up ooze tube. Ooze tube? So I am excited to make up one. And unlike the SpongeBob kit, this one says requires three LR41 batteries included. <laughs> Let's do the frog first. I kind of want to, kind of want to cut into this little guy. Put back the organs and add new slime when you're done. Try that in your biology class. I dare you. Just shovel them all back in there. And he's perfect. Let's dissect a frog. Ooze tube. I just like saying ooze tube. Okay, this is the unbelievable science. Slimy tree frog squishy anatomy. I don't know if this is actually slime in here or if this is like one of those gel dig it things. It makes it seem like it's dissecting a frog. But look at that little guy. You don't want to dissect a real frog. At least I don't. I had to do that one time. It was traumatizing. I am so glad that there are real scientists and biologists that aren't me who do that kind of thing because I'm too soft hearted. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I don't need that. Science squad. There's like a whole little book in here. This is really neat. So you actually get like all the different parts of the frog. It tells you how to reassemble once you pull all of his organs out. What you're actually looking for. It labels everything really nicely. This is like a learning activity. This is my refill slime. He looks like a huge gummy frog. That's like awesome. It's really big. Like it's, it's big. You guys, I noticed in this book, it actually has really, really, really awesome science on the anatomy. So as you go, you're learning about the skin, the skeleton, the heart, the lungs, the stomach, all the different systems of the frog. Okay. <laughs> So I want to show it to you guys close up. This is what it looks like. This is the back, right? You can see all of his different systems. Look at his little froggy eyeballs. Cool. Okay, I'm going to poke it. Here we go. All right. So first impressions, this is jello, right? It says slime. Even the refill packs say slime. There's no slime. It's just gel, right? And it's like those dig it gel bars which is cool. Just call it what it is. It's not slime. It's gel. All right. It says to make a cut from here to here from nose to booty. All right. Oh, it cuts really easily because it's jello. This is so unnecessary. As you can see, there's it, all his bones are sticking up. I, I don't know. I think in order for this to work really well, he needed to have been filled all the way to here and he's just got the leg bones sticking up. I'm going to use my probe to dig things out. I got arms. There's little froggy arms. It, he actually smells really good. If you're dissecting a real frog for biology, do not stick your nose in any part of it and sniff. It's not a good idea. This reminds me of that time I had dill pickle jello in a squishy. That's what that looked like. Ah, what is that? Is that his tongue in there? Oh, oh, what is this? What's this part? I'm just gonna get in there with my hands. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it just came out in one big chunk! This is kind of how my 10th grade biology class went as well. Dr. Squish is not a licensed medical doctor and should not be asked for medical advice. I don't know what this part is, so... Okay, so I think I just removed its pancreas and its gallbladder. This is supposed to be its stomach. He's got lungs here, the blue things. What is this part? <laughs> In its head, oh gosh. This wouldn't be 
be gross or disgusting except for the fact that I'm supposed to be di dissecting a frog. And so this, <laughs> this just makes me kind of queasy. That's his lungs right here. I think this is his heart. Look, look at his little froggy heart. Little heart, I found it. That's so cute. Okay. I think this is his frog tongue. Hey, Amen. <laughs> this, is, this is his little jaw. I'm so sorry, frog. This is his tongue, right? No, that's his tongue. This is his brain. I'm so confused. I have, this has to be his tongue. That's a, that's a frog tongue. This is his brain parts with his eyeballs. I'll sh oh gosh. That's obviously his eyes and his brains are in there. Oh dear. If I, oh, okay. I am from the South. I have seen many a frog leg in my day. So this is all there was to it. There was his skeleton. There was his tongue, his brain, his gallbladder, this worm, which was his stomach, his lungs, and his heart. And then there was a really nice smelling jelly. It looks a lot like pickle jello. I don't feel like there's anything I can do with this except throw it away because it's just gonna dry out and get gross, which that's okay. Okay, let's see if I can put this all back together and uh, make another slimy frog. I know that this goes on the bottom. His, his little brain's gotta go in there somewhere. He's very slimy. This is where the slimy part comes in because he's very slimy. Disgusting tongue is <laughs> gonna go on there. Oh dear me. His heart goes in there. Oh, look at me go. I got it back. Stomach going back. <sighs> I did it. He's back in his mold. I'm going to make the slime now. Okay. It is a really funky color. I'm wondering if that's going to turn green or if I'm going to have a weird brown frog. I use a cup of water in there. Oh, it is kind of turning green. It's about the same color green it was to begin with. Now it says mix it until it becomes like pudding. What? <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not getting pudding here, guys. I, I, I'm not, there's no pudding vibe. Oh, it smells terrible. It doesn't tell me anywhere on the packaging what the slime powder is. So I don't know if it's gelatin or auger powder. <laughs> it stinks. Okay, so this filled it up all the way to the top like I think it should be. Okay, I'm gonna go put this in my fridge. It's not stable. It like wants to all dump out. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge. We'll see how it works. So here is what my frog looks like after an hour in the refrigerator. It turned into just a jello frog. It's basically exactly the same as it was before. The same firmness, it feels pretty much the same. It's just cold. I did uh, get to fill it up a lot more than it was when it came in the box, so it covers the bones a little better. I think probably if you run out of that packet, you could probably just do it with regular gelatin, but, but this turned out exactly the way it was supposed to. So, you know, it, it did what it should have. You got a jelly frog. Okay, so what do I think about the slimy tree frog squishy anatomy kit? I actually really liked it. I think that for under $5, there was a lot of playability and it can be reused and it was kind of a gross factor. The only thing that I wish, I just wish they didn't call it a slime kit. It says put back organs and then add new slime. It, it says slime multiple times on the box and there is no slime. I still would have bought it if it had said, Slimy tree frog, squishy anatomy, jelly frog. There was no slime. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I do think you could add slime to that mold though. That'd be fun. All right, next we're gonna do an ooze tube. This is another unbelievable science kit that I got from Five Below. So again, I'm under $5 for this kit. So let's go make our own ooze tube. All right, so here is what it says we get in the kit. A bottle of oil base, a liquid silicone, a bag of mica powder, a tube, a measuring cup, mixing stick, LED light up base, and instructions. I don't understand why they have a little window with the two mixing bases. Like, who cares? Okay, nothing in the box. So here is our light up base. Oh guys, the light up base is the same exact plastic as this. You know, this plastic is just black. Oh, okay, there we go. So the light up base works if you need it. It comes with batteries, which is great. We got a popsicle stick. Oh, 
it's bigger than I thought. So this is like a big tube. So I thought we were talking about like something this size. I thought we were talking about the half size. It doesn't even screw in. It kind of pops in. We're putting oil in. I'm already very afraid. We got oil and then we got liquid silicone oil. We have a mica powder, a mixing cup and one sheet of instructions. This is considered a science kit, but I'm not sure what part of this is science. There's nothing that's giving a science lesson. So at least with the tree frog one, there was science being learned. This is just a craft, which I love. I love craft, but it's, it's technically not giving you any science lesson here with it. So mix the liquid silicone oil and mica powder in the measuring cup. Okay, so it just says that. I'm assuming it means all of it gonna put in the science squad mica powder mica can be pretty messy so try and get it in the cup if you can says dr squish oh it's orange so it was orange on the front of the box that is a lot of mica powder like a lot okay it took a minute to do but i think i got it all mixed up in there add the oil base into the open tube half guys which do you consider the open tube half because i can open this part and I can open this part. Which is the open tube half? Add the oil into the open tube half till all the oil drops to the bottom. So I'm assuming that means you do it in here till all the oil drops. I'm gonna do that. I don't, I don't know. Till all the oil drops to the bottom, okay? I did it. I think I did it wrong. So let's just put this in there. Oh, it looks so weird. I don't want it to overflow, I'm nervous. Okay, I got it all down in there. Now I'm gonna put the other part of the tube back on and make sure it is secured. I am so nervous it's gonna leak. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn it over. See all of the silicone oils at the bottom. Here we go. <gasps> I don't know, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like the whole thing should be full of oil, shouldn't it? <laughs> it looks gross and weird. <laughs> okay, the ooze tube, and then this is just, this oh okay bloop it could have been called the bloop tube I had things similar to this when I was a kid and it was so much more satisfying there's still so much oil up here and hardly any down here and it's just dripping I don't find this super satisfying let me turn all the lights off okay let me turn off my last light eee. You can't even see it. I mean, that's the light, <laughs> like right here. You guys, that's that's it. <laughs> All right, so this base is just absolute nonsense. Not only is it super cheap plastic, but you can't even see it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, it's like kind of interesting, sort of satisfying, maybe. I'm sort. That's neat. Like, look at that. I kind of like that. I don't know what I feel about this project. My emotions, they're all over the place with this one and I'll tell you why. So when you buy these things at Five Below, you literally haven't spent that much money. Somewhere between three and five bucks, that's it. And so you can't be like, it wasn't worth the money. It is kind of interesting, it is kind of neat. I don't hate this. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I think watching the silicone pool down in there is pretty cool. I don't know, you guys have to let me know. Is this worth spending, you know, three, four bucks on? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> is it a science experiment? No, it would have been if they talked about density and liquids and, and volume and things like that, but they didn't. Both of these kits were worth it. If you go into Five Below and your kid wants to buy one of these, I say go for it, especially if they're under five bucks. They're both pretty good. They, this one did not occupy me for very long. I do think there is the potential to make a big mess with this, but it, it's, you know, it's cheap. <laughs> I liked them both, but you guys are gonna have to let me know. Did you think they were worth it? Is there any science in them at all? Did, would you buy these? Talk to me in the comments and let me know. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to Dr. Squish and I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, Squishy fans.